This is the Panama Canal. It's 100 years old. These are the original gates, the original locks. It was an amazing feat of engineering. It was designed by the French, finished by the Americans, and 20,000 workers died of malaria and yellow fever constructing this. Every day, 40 ships go through these locks. But is this Victorian technology enough for the huge ships of the future? Today, the Panama Canal accounts for 3% of the world's $9 trillion shipping trade. But it is not big enough for the so-called post-Panamax ships that can transit its rival, the Suez Canal. So, without being able to handle giant ships, it cannot take US gas to major markets in Asia, for example. To fix this, the Panama Canal has been working on a more than $5 billion expansion for the past eight years. They could not just widen the existing canal, that would have meant halting shipping and disrupting world trade, so they have built a whole new canal capable of handling ships with three times as much cargo. If the original canal was a monster feat of engineering a century ago, the expansion has been mind-boggling. The new locks alone have used as much steel as 22 Eiffel Towers. This is the world's biggest engineering project. It's the expansion of the Panama Canal to create a whole new canal which will cater to the world's biggest ships. Basically, it will triple the amount of cargo that can be brought on a single ship. In a couple of months' time, where I'm standing will be covered with water, and this behind me is one of the biggest of 16 locks that will operate the canal. It's 35 metres tall, it's 10 metres wide, it's enormous, and when it's closed, the water will reach up to the top of that wall there. Well, this is a huge project and the quantities, are, of course, are huge in, in all what we do. And it's 5 million cubic metres of uh, concrete, is 50 million cubic metres of earth moving. The gates are themselves uh, 16 gates of 3,000 tonnes each. So all the size of the, of the canal has been extraordinary. Not surprisingly, there have been problems. The work ran over budget, and there was a high-profile row over who should pay. But now things are back on track, and the new canal is set to open in the first quarter of 2016. Well, the expanded Panama Canal, you have to see it like in this way. Now we have a two-lane highway, and, uh, and then we will add a third lane that would allow bigger ships to go through. Uh, that will increase the capacity of the Panama Canal to, for the movement of goods uh, through Panama and will make uh, Panama a more competitive route than the one we already have. The expansion is being called the third set of locks. But even before the new, improved Panama Canal is inaugurated, the government and engineers are already discussing how to make it even bigger still with a fourth set of locks. Part of the reason for that is that in Nicaragua, a Chinese company, Hong Kong Nicaragua Development, has started work on a rival canal, and Panama cannot afford to get left behind. The Chinese entrepreneur behind that project, Wang Jing, says the Nicaraguan canal will cost $50 billion and be inaugurated in 2019, something Alan Krauss whose company designed the Panama Canal expansion, doubts is feasible. I would find it hard to believe that it would get off the ground. I think that if I was to place my bets, it would be here in Panama. I mean, you've got land appropriated, you've got skilled labor now that actually have built something that is going to be very comparable in size, and you've got probably the shortest passage that you actually have to deal with. It's a very difficult project. I think that uh, maybe the cost and the time to execute, it's, it's underestimated right now. I think as the Nicaraguans realize and make more studies and uh, uh, take a hard look at the environmental implications and the things that they have to do to, uh, to mitigate uh, impacts, they're going to realize that the project is going to be a little bit more complex. For a century now, Panama has built an entire economy on being a logistical hub with the canal at its center. The canal expansion is being built to last for another 100 years. It remains to be seen if Nicaragua could replicate that model, even if its canal does get built. Jude Weber, Financial Times, Panama City.